Hello there, welcome Gentis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and welcome to another video. This video we're going to be having a product review. This is going to be a product review for um, the um, Tank craft.com they've sent me uh, this really cool looking cutting mat and what we're going to do is throw a few tests on it and see if it's any good but already hopefully you can see that what does look good is that it looks good basically um, is what's with this so let's throw some tests out there first one i want to throw is measurements measurements are a little bit different i mean i don't know what it's like in the us but um in the uk most cutting mats follow you know this format here which is like you know a4 size paper and a3 a2 a1 it's a little bit different um basically this is kind of like an a two size but a little bit bigger they do do um, another size which is basically a three but a little bit bigger which is no big deal it's just you know normally it's just gone by that format but they're just a little bit bigger than the normal format um the other thing let's just check out let's just see you know how it holds up to cutting right uh, i'm just going to put a cut down this a nasty cut which i don't want to do because it looks pretty but let's dig our blade in here and let's really sort of cut this right away along and there we go. I mean, you can sort of slightly see the mark, but you know what? It has got that normal self-healing sort of property where it sort of closes up. I mean, you can sort of see it. Just, it's kind of pretty much just, pretty much like any sort of cutting mat that you would use. So um, I don't think there's any sort of lower quality or better quality. It's kind of like just the same with any sort of cutting. Um, then we sort of come into some solvents. Let's see sort of how this print holds up to different sort of liquids. Uh, just a quick one. The first, the first one really is, you know, um, acrylic based finners that's what we mainly use in scale modeling so let's see how this holds up now um every other cutting mat i've ever sort of used you know you could come along with let's get a cleaner one you could come along with um some sort of acrylic finners pretty much any one i'm using the homebrew just here right and any mat i've ever had won't wipe away any of the print that's on here so i'm just going to rub at this really sort of give it some as well maybe bring you in give it some um, and this shouldn't wipe away any of the print which as you can see it hasn't wiped away any so it kind of passes that sort of quality check uh, we do have some nail polish here which again any sort of mat i've ever um, mat i've ever had will not stand up to this right uh, so if it doesn't pass this it's no big deal because no no mat has ever kind of stood up to nail polish or um sort of lacquer base thinners or, or anything like that so i'm just going to test it anyway because you never know it might actually impress us a little bit but it shouldn't uh, i'm going to pick a, a little spot because i don't really want to ruin my mat here where should we I don't want to pick, I'll pick on the side somewhere. Let's bring the camera down here. Just going to sort of rub it a little bit here. And yeah, I'm already seeing that that's rubbing away, which was expected, um, but we can only hope, I suppose. Um, so next thing with this is, you know, cost. Cost is, um, it is a little bit expensive. I, I will admit if there's a downside to it, but then you are paying for something that looks cool and not some standard you know everyday sort of cutting mat uh the big one here um the little bit bigger than a2 size is about 33 pounds and then we have the smaller version the 12 by 18 that is about 24 pounds depending on the exchange rate because again this company is based in the us Right, so good for you guys who are based in the US, you know, you should be better on posters and package when it comes to getting this. Uh, but all in all, I mean, it really does look a really cool, cool um, cutting mat, you know, with all the whole design and everything. Uh, just up the corner here, I don't know if you can see that, you know, we've got sort of like some actual statistics and stats and stuff about our um, pamphlet here, just there. They do do a Sherman version. 
as well, which I, I got sent also. This one's in green, the M4 Sherman. Again, the stats and everything, um, nicely packaged. Um, what's there to grumble about? So there you go, what is there to grumble about? It's a nice, cool cutting mat from a nice new company dedicating themselves to scale modeling. So definitely a big thumbs up here, uh, here at Genesis Models and definitely well recommended. I would love to see you guys out there support this company, right? Because I do see a lot, a lot of potential. I mean, um, their range isn't very big at the moment because they're, you know, getting going and they want to sort of see you know how this sells and everything um, before they kind of like go for it so I really want you guys to go out there support them you know get yourself a cutting mat because I'd love to see them expand their range expand their sizes and stuff um, love to see them sort of do some aircrafts um, as well as armored vehicles and more different types of armored vehicles and and all sorts of cool stuff um, that you could have printed on here be really cool to see a wider wider range but um, basically they need your support to go do it so go out buy yourself a cutting mat because they are really cool um, this one is going to stay here I have got a couple that are going to be going um, going out as competition prizes um, which you might sort of see um, um, a couple of weeks or a month uh, time here at Genesis Models but um, hopefully you've enjoyed that hopefully you're going to get on board but until next time my name is Bobby Wardrin this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed